you see just two faces This is a laptop charger. I'm going to use it to run this generator. That's the supply. That's the input. You can see it. It's a laptop charger that takes in 100 to 240 volt. Where is it? Okay, you can see it there. It takes in 100 volts at 3.5 amp and convert it to where is it okay input 100 to 240 volts at 1.5 amp 70 watts continuous that's the input the output is around 19 volts 3.5 amp 19 volts 3.5 amp or 3 amp so the maximum power is 70 watts it can give 70 watts continuously now we're going to use it to run this uh, it's already plugged to my wall socket you know i'm using solar panel to power this house so when i say wall socket i am off grid don't mistaking it I don't, I'm, I'm off Nepal for four years now. So I'm only trying to see how I can share my work with people. Now, this is the generator. So the generator is like this. The generator has a, an inbuilt uh, brushless DC motor that I'm going to use that laptop charger to power. So the brushless DC motor, we turn the rotor, is the rotor that has the magnet you can see it the magnet is sealed with uh, silicon plates we seal with silicon plates so now i have this coil around it if you want to know how i wind the coil you check my video the link to my old video that i started making this coil is on the is below it's down there i have included it in the description so check it out and see how I make it. Now I have nine of those coils. The nine coils are in three phase. Uh, so, so it's three phase. You can see, you can see them how they are linked together. Yeah, I will, I will uh, try to give this schematic. If you need it, just ask for it. I will, I will post it. Now, so the output is rectified by this brick rectifier. And the output we are going to see, we are going to see now. Let me on the, let me on the power. Let's check the first of all the voltage that is coming out. DC, yeah, DC two hundred, DC two hundred, DC two hundred, mm, DC two hundred. Where should I place it? So I'm on. I'm putting it on now. It's on. It's on. It's, you can see it. Laptop charger. It's on. It's on. It has power it. So I'm going to. Okay. No. I have 69, 72, 72 volts, 72 volts, and you see, 
sorry, shaking. It's 72 volts. It's generating 72 volts. From 19 volts, 3 amps to 72 volts. Let us check if there is any use that we can make with this 72 volts. Uh, very easy to do. So, I'm going to run this uh, this treadmill motor with the output. The treadmill motor, let me show you the label. It has, um, you can see it. It takes 130 volts. So we're going to run it to 72 volts. It takes 130 volts at 18 amps. You got it? 18 amps. So it rotates at 6,700 RPM. At that uh, full power, 130 volts, 18 amp. So we should be able to get 4,000 from 72 volts. Let's see. So we're going to connect... Uh, this thing to see how many amp it uses to start so i've already put this thing on amp on amp reading 10 amp maximum so it's already connected to one of the inputs for the dc motor now so when i when the thing is running it's, it's, it will start running now. I want it. It's on. Oh, okay, it's not on. It's on. So when it starts now at its full speed, I'll check it and see how many amp it takes to start this motor. Whether I can start this motor. Mm -hmm. So I'm going, to, I'm going to start it and I'm going to touch it with the with this uh, terminal now from the multimeter. So it's reading amp. So I will put it there. It has started. So it started with uh, three amps. It started with three amps. So it's running. It started with three amps. It's running high speed. has gone down to 8 amps because it's running now. When it started now, it was 3 amps. Started with 3 amps. So you can see 3 times um, 72. You have uh, uh, around 200 watts. Or 210 watts. From 70 watts to 210 watts. That is 300 percent COP. That is 300% COP. So what I'm going to do is, this days we have a lesson. So I'm going to use the, a dumping uh, MTT charger, charge controller, to charge my 48 volt battery. That's what I'm going to do with this uh, output. You see, it's running smoothly, nothing, no shaking. See, it's running. running. I remove it now. It stops. Did this seem to stop? Now, let it stop completely then we we'll use you see how many amp it takes to start. Uh, but it's normally the problem is normally the starting power. So now look at it very well. You see it. Yeah, started. Running smoothly. The generator continues. The generator no send you. It is going down as the at its gathering momentum. It's going to take less uh, energy to run. That's the nature of the, any motor that has flyway. It takes more power to start, but once it starts, the inertia, the force of inertia will continue to hold it. So, it has a generative uh, 
when I do when you stop. That is funny. That's my seven. Funny. So that's it. If you want something like this, see, don't call me and start thinking uh, you'll get it for one kobo. Just look at these coils. How much is a kg of copper? How much is magnet in the market? So, free energy is not for poor people. So, you better buckle up.